let's suppose you want to close the online ordering for one day two days or a few days or you want to change your online ordering hours for your website it's very simple to do that what you do is you go to the website called clover.com so right here clover.com and then press login again you can do this from your computer or from your phone make sure you go to the actual website log into clover.com once you log in choose the correct location remember it's very important that you choose the correct location so if you have multiple locations choose that specific location where you want to close for a few days or a few hours or change your hours if you want to apply that to all the locations then you have to go through here and choose each location and change those hours in this example i'm going to choose sam's restaurant and i'm going to say sam's restaurant is closed for the fourth of july so how do i close it for the fourth of july I go towards the very bottom here on your clover dashboard you'll see something called account and setup it's located at the very bottom but remember that this could be located somewhere else on your dashboard but as of right now it's located here so try to look here first if you don't see it look elsewhere that button it'll take me to this screen here it'll give me a few options you want to go here about your business okay it's very important that you go here not over here not business operations this is the wrong one. This is for a different product. We want to focus on this one. So remember to find the one that says about your business and then press business information. Press this button one time. Once you press this button one time, you'll be shown your business name, your business address. But if you scroll to the bottom, you'll see something called business hours. These hours correspond to your online ordering hours. Okay? So remember, whatever hours you have here, is the hours that your customers can, can order online. So let's suppose a holiday is coming up in a few days or, or in the next seven days or the next three days. You want to close for that holiday. How do you do that? You, pre you put closed right here, just like that. So what's gonna happen is on Wednesday, customers cannot order online. Let's suppose the holiday is on a Saturday. You can put closed. Let's suppose there is no holiday, but you just wanna close because of some kind of emergency. Just come here and put closed. Let's suppose, that you want to close early on a, on the next on Thursday just come here and put four o'clock now what's going to happen is your customers cannot order online after 4 30 p.m. okay it'll, it'll automatically not allow them to do that once you do that make, make sure to press save if for some reason you can't press save make sure you're if you have a website here make sure it has HTTPS okay if you don't have HTTPS here on your website name you cannot press save Okay, if you wish, you can just delete your website from here because it's optional. Okay, so uh, make sure to put HTTPS, just like this, see it? Okay, once you have done all that, press save, okay? Once it's saved, then your online ordering will automatically apply to your website. So, for example, I go here, it will say online ordering currently closed, okay? That's how that works, and it does it right away. You may have to refresh the page to see those changes, all right? I hope this video helped out. Uh, for additional info, please watch our other videos. Thank you so much.